This is one of a multiple videos showing you how to download, install, and configure a GNS3 on a Windows 10 PC. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate the GNS3 VM with the GNS3 GUI. Running the GNS3 VM on a Windows PC and Mac OS is the recommended way of setting up GNS3 topologies. In other words, it's recommended that you install the graphical user interface, but that in addition, you use the GNS3 VM for better scalability and better reliability. In a previous video, I showed you how to install and configure the GNS3 GUI. I've linked to that video below. If you haven't watched it, it's recommended that you watch it first. In this video, I'm assuming that you have the GNS3 GUI already installed, and I'm gonna create a new project in the GNS3 GUI, but now also integrate the GNS3 GUI with the GNS3 VM. So a question that's often asked when setting up the GNS3 VM is which virtualization software should I be using? Can I use VirtualBox instead of VMware? Now VMware is a better option because it's faster and supports a nested virtualization. In other words, you can run VMs within VMs. A lot of the GNS3 appliances in the GNS3 marketplace run on QMU. In other words, they require a virtualization within the GNS3 VM. That means that you're running a virtualization technology within a virtualization technology. QMU within VMware Workstation as an example. VirtualBox doesn't support nested virtualization. You could run these appliances in a VirtualBox, but you're gonna find that they run extremely slowly. So the recommendation is to use VMware instead of VirtualBox with GNS3. That doesn't apply to all devices, but for a lot it does. So I'd rather use VMware rather than VirtualBox if possible. Now what should you use, Workstation or Player? VMware Workstation Pro and VMware Fusion are recommended. Workstation Pro for Windows, Fusion for a Mac, but you can run a VMware Player which is free. VMware Player does require the installation of some additional free software. If you forget to install this, GNS3 will prompt you to install it. So if you have problems running GNS3 with a VMware player, don't forget about this extra software called a VMware VIX. You can also run GNS3 on ESXi, but in this video, I'm showing you how to integrate GNS3 with VMware Workstation. So I've already got the GNS3 GUI installed. What I need to do now is go to the VMware site, click on Downloads, and in this example, I'm gonna download Workstation Pro. I'm gonna download a free trial of VMware Workstation. In this example, I'm gonna download it for a 64-bit Windows installation, and I'll save it to my local hard drive. The software is now downloaded, so I'll open the folder, and I'll double-click on the VMware installation executable and I'll simply install VMware Workstation using the default values. So I'll click Next on the Setup Wizard, agree to the license, click Next. Click Next for the installation destination. I'm gonna uncheck the option to improve VMware Workstation and click Next. Click Next to add shortcuts and click Install to install VMware Workstation Pro. The installation configures my PC and copies the necessary files. It installs virtual network adapters. Okay, so the installation has completed. I'll click Finish. So VMware Workstation is now installed on my Windows 10 PC. I'm going to use it for 30 days so I'll enable a trial license and I'll put in my email address and click continue. 
VMware requires administrator privileges. I'm gonna click yes to accept that and click finish. So VMware Workstation has now been installed. What I need to do is download the GNS3 VM. So I'm gonna click on download on the GNS3 website. Click on download a VM for GNS3. And I'm gonna download the VMware Workstation VM. I'm gonna save it to my local hard drive. The software is now downloaded from Amazon AWS. So you simply need to wait for the software to download. Okay, the software is downloaded, so I'm gonna click open folder and I'm gonna extract the zip file. File is extracted to my local hard drive and the GNS3 VM is now available. So in VMware Workstation, I'm gonna click file, open, Go to my downloads directory and open up the GNS3 VM and click open. I'm gonna leave it at the default of GNS3 VM, that's recommended, and then I'm gonna click import. So VMware Workstation now imports the GNS3 VM. And there you go, it's now imported. Some default values are displayed. I'm not gonna change any of those. Now back in the GNS3 GUI, I'm gonna to go to Edit, Preferences. I'm gonna click on GNS3 VM and enable the GNS3 VM. In the virtualization name, I'm gonna select a VMware Workstation slash player and click Refresh to ensure that the GNS3 VM is displayed. You can now increase the amount of RAM and virtual CPUs used by the GNS3 VM. Increase these values as much as you can based on how powerful your PC is. So if you can increase the amount of RAM and CPUs, then do that. Otherwise, leave them at their default values. Decide on the action when you close the GNS3 GUI. Do you want it to stop the GNS3 VM, suspend it, or keep it running? In this example, I'm gonna shut it down and click OK. The GNS3 GUI then contacts the GNS3 VM and it's automatically started up. We can see in the GUI that the GNS3 VM is starting and we can see that the GNS3 VM is booting. And there you go, the GNS3 VM has now booted up. So we've successfully downloaded and integrated the GNS3 VM with the GNS3 GUI. In the GUI, we can see that the local server is running as well as the GNS3 VM. So now that the GNS3 VM is integrated, we can add devices to our topology. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.